kind of walk us through, you know, you, you fouled on the first two jumps, um, and then you just got progressively better, just, you know, your mindset after after the first two, dump, two jumps, um, and how you were able to get stronger. Um, after my first two fouls, I basically just moved my mark back, took a safe jump, made sure I made, made it into the finals, and then the next three jumps, basically, I had to go for it, you know, to win. So I felt like that paid off in my fifth attempt, um, and I had a large foul on the last one, so I'm pleased with my performance today. When, when you hit the 24-11, you know, just what does that feel like? Is that a, is that a best for you? Outdoors, yes, but overall, no. But it's still a good number. Did you feel like that would be a, a, a number that could win this event? Um, yeah. The experience overall, being at the Penn Relays, this is such a historic, pretty special. What was your impression of competing here? Um, it's a really big meet, and this is my first time, you know, competing against people from uh, Jamaica, you know. Uh, so it's my pretty much my first international meet. So that's kind of a big experience for me. All right, gentlemen, second panic. How did, how, what was it like, the waiting? You know, you finish and then three other guys have to go. You know you have the lead. What is that waiting like? Uh, it's really nerve-wracking for me, you know, because I know they have the potential to jump really, really far, especially on the last one with nerves and you're pumped up, and especially when uh, they get a fair mark in. They, you just know it's going to be big. So. Great, you're... Your trajectory in the sport has really skyrocketed in the last year or so, right? What's led to some, all this improvement, and, and how have you got to this place? I mean, musically, just getting healthy and training consistently, having good training sessions, and also getting stronger. I mean, last year I was hurt for most of the season, so this year I'm healthy, and I feel like that's kind of showing out. A handful of people have ever jumped 25 feet in New Jersey history, you being one of them. What do you think of that? Uh, it's got to be special, right? Yeah, it's a very, um, I'd say, exclusive club, 25 feet. That's that's really far. Um, so, you know, it's kind of special to me that I can jump that far. I know I can jump that far on a consistent basis. Were you nervous after the first two fouls? Um, not really. I was just... I knew if I got a safe jump in, I would make it to the finals. It's just a, it was just a matter of, you know, getting down my mark. So, yeah. And, and lastly, just what does it mean to you to win the Penn Relay title? And, and have, I mean, the gold watch is pretty sweet, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, this is a big meet, as I said. So just to win it all, it just makes a lot of sense. What are you going to do with the gold watch? Put it in a trophy case, wear it? I, I don't know, just keep it in my room, probably. Yeah.